What's up YouTube? This is PIZCSCN here and first of all just wanted to say happy Labor Day. I am recording this on Labor Day Monday which is September the 7th. 2015. Today we're going to be doing a Zippo video, but this is not necessarily going to be a new Zippo video, even though I've never shown these Zippos before. Uh, this is going to be more of a review, if you will. I'm going to be showing you guys some models that came out earlier this year, in fact, this past month, and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on these. And what you're looking at are two examples of the new Zippo Fusion line, okay? If you don't know, Zippo Fusion is one of Zippo's newest decorating techniques in which they basically go in and create Zippos that have a very, very similar look to stained glass, all right? And it looks really, really cool. Now, I've got two examples here. There's actually quite a few models. For those of you who are not particularly into any of these designs, don't worry, you're not limited to these. So this one is model 28952ACE and it looks like, well, an ace, as you can see. And then this one is 28967 Angel, which I got because whenever I think of stained glass windows, I don't know about you, but whenever I think of stained glass windows, I think of that angel, as you can see, very, very pretty. And yeah, this is, um, these are the examples I've got here. So. Again, not really a new Zippo showcase, although I will show you guys the dates on these, just in case you're interested. The date on this one happens to be E of 2015, which would be, what comes after April? May of this year. And uh, actually the same thing goes for this one. And I checked both of their inserts. And both inserts, actually this one has an F. I think this one has an E. Um, I, I thought they both matched, but I forgot. <laughs> anyway, glad I checked that. But yeah, the uh, I think this one has a matching insert. Let's find out real quick. Just because I... Yeah, there we go. I just just kind of, you know, almost humiliated myself on camera there. Um, so yeah, this one matches. This one is a month ahead. F meaning June of 2015. All right, so as I said, these do have a very nice stained glass effect applied to them. And the way they went about doing this is they took and lightly etched... The design that they were going for into the high polish chrome zippo all right you can see this is indeed a high polish chrome model and then they applied some kind of paint like substance i'm guessing it's some kind of acrylic maybe they applied acrylic with a brush in the etched out parts of the design which created this very interesting texture i'm imagining there's some kind of a brush that applied this because those uh streaks that you get there are actually you know, you can feel them a little bit with your finger. It's very subtle texture. It doesn't really have, like, it doesn't, like, you know, go out, grab, and catch your nail if you lightly scratch it. But, yeah, you can kind of feel that. That, 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 that texture. And you can also see that it's been very thickly applied, like, uh, up here, towards the top of these, uh, geometric shapes there. It's been very thickly applied at the top to create kind of a shadow to give this design some depth. But towards the middle of this is a little bit lighter applied, which allows for more of the high polish chrome finish underneath it to show through. So down here you can see on the bottom of her dress, there's almost no paint applied down there at all. So it's almost like it's just the, the bare chrome right there. But you can see there are some streaks here and there of, of uh, the paint-like substance that give this really interesting look to it. I, I really can't, you, you can see it, it's very, very interesting. Down here towards the corner, there is a bunch of it. And if you take a look at the wings here, you'll see that that's probably some kind of a gray epoxy paint, whatever, but it's very lightly applied. And uh, you got, you do get the little veins and the little streaks going throughout it, which give it more of that stained glass texture. It's probably the same kind that they use in the Ace actually just a lot less of it applied to it, which is very interesting. So what I'm assuming is that somebody at Zippo took like a paintbrush and then just kind of went in with some of whatever this uh, paint-like substance is and just strategically painted on the stuff, giving it the texture that they're going after. I mean, that really looks like it's been hand done. I can't really imagine a machine going through and doing that. All right, it is now time to answer the all-important question. Are these Zippos 
worth the money. Both of the ones you see here are worth $30 a piece, and the ones with a high polished brass base model are a little bit more for some reason. I believe they cost about $34 to $35, but the ones that are high polished chrome are $30, hence these being $30. So are they worth it? I'm going to go ahead and say yes, they are, but you need to be made aware of a few things before you go and buy one. All right. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to say if you're going to buy these strictly to have in your collection to show them off, yes, they are absolutely worth it. But if you're planning on using these, well, let's go and get into it. As I've mentioned, these designs have been painted on and the paint is not very thick. It's actually kind of thin. I'd be a little bit concerned of this coloration wearing off over time with use. All right, let me go ahead and let me show you the, let me take the insert out here. I want to show you the edge of the casing just so you can see how thinly applied this has been. Got a little Argos C3 lens, makes a kind of a jeweler's loop, if you will, a little camera lens. You can barely even tell that anything's there. It almost looks like a high polished chrome Zippo at this point. I mean, if you really look, you can kind of see where the design is, ter is terminating at the edges. Here it is over here. As you can see. But you can tell that there's really not much there. Let me go ahead and let me show you with the Ace of Spades one here. Take its insert out. Again, it's not very thick. Here it is on over here. It's really not that thick. So I'm going to go ahead and say if you want to buy one of these to use, do so at your own risk. I'm not sure if it's going to rub off or not. Now if you do buy one of these to use, please, by all means, come back here in a couple months and let us know how it's faring. If it's holding up nicely, let us know. If it's starting to chip on you, let us know. I'm sure there's some people here who will find that very valuable information, so please let it keep us updated. Let us know if, uh, if you have any problems or if it's actually working out quite nicely for you. And maybe even let us know what conditions you carry it around in because obviously if you're very careful with your things, then yeah, you're probably going to have a pretty good time with it. But if you're like me and you tend to have your Zippos in the same pocket as your change or other metal objects, yeah. Um, Make sure you let us know that because I would imagine that would cause some chipping and some wearing and tearing to go on. So something else to keep in mind is that these are on a high polished chrome base model. All right. And the high polished chrome Zippos do scratch. And after a while, they can start to look like an old iPod classic that maybe wasn't properly kept in a case. And, you know, that, that it's never really a pretty sight. And it, it does kind of take on that same effect. It scratches in a very similar in a very similar way as to how those do. However, if you buy a brass one, the brass ones are actually going to tarnish on you, and I think that might actually look really really cool with this type of design. So, again, if uh, if I were to say buy one to use it, I would probably say suggest that you go with a brass one because again, when the high polished chrome models start to scratch, they they can look a little bit ugly, but the brass ones again. When brass tarnishes, it actually it might actually be a nice little complement to uh, the whole stained glass effect going on here. So, again, up to you. And finally, I've noticed that these can be a little bit hard to fully appreciate in certain lighting conditions. Like right now, I'm outside. I'm actually under the shade of a roofed porch, if you will. And um, you can see it pretty well. You can get a good idea of the colors. But look, if I show it directly to the camera, now my phone is reflecting off of it, and the colors really they look they're they're not nearly as vibrant where the uh, the shadow is where the reflection is these things work a little bit like a reflector say on a bike I mean you've got the high polished chrome backing there and if you have light being reflected off of that high polished chrome backing it's going to really allow those colors to pop but again if you have a little bit of shading going on like right here the fin the design just kinda it just kinda goes away as you can see it, it doesn't look nearly as good so that's just something to bear in mind. If you're like me and you like to kind of look at things while you're watching TV at like 10 o'clock at night, the lights are all dim, you won't be able to appreciate these to the fullest potential in those conditions because of the fact that you're not getting the light reflecting off of the, off of the back of the design. And uh, because of that, it's going to look a little bit muted. So you'd want to hold it like under a lamp or something so you can fully see it. So that's just something that I noticed, something I picked up on, and I felt like it might be worth mentioning. 
Uh, it's also something to consider if you want to put these in a display. Make sure that your display is in a relatively well lit area if you want to show them off to people. And uh, yeah, that be that. So all in all, like I say, it's really up to you whether or not these are worth it or not. I will say that these designs are incredibly unique. This is the first thing that Zippo has really done like this. There's really no other Zippo models out there that look like quite like this. And because of that, they really will stand out in your collection. People will notice them if you do decide to carry them around. I guarantee you, you will get compliments on these models. I mean, I showed this to a couple of my friends and they all were very, very taken aback by just how interesting and how unique this particular design is. I mean, it's it's something else. It is a really, really nice effect that Zippo's got going on here. And I think they nailed it perfectly. They were going for the stained glass. It looks like stained glass. I mean, come on. You almost expect to find this in a church. I mean, seriously, that is ridiculous. So, I would highly recommend these. Definitely worth the money if you, if you are willing to spend it. And, um, yeah, I do believe that is it. So now you know what to expect if you wanted to go and buy a... Zippo Fusion model. I really am a big fan of these and I'm a little bit sad because I actually bought these to sell after I made this video and I am going to be selling these to recoup the cost of this video. Unfortunately I'm going to be selling them locally. I, I don't have an eBay account. I don't know how to sell things on eBay. I, I'll definitely be looking into doing that in the future for other videos like this because this is something that I'm going to start doing is um, buying things to make a video about and then selling them after I'm done with the video. So, yep. That is all, guys. Thank you so very much for watching, and adios.